Good morning, everyone. Last time we discussed, started the chapter, and I told about the author, as he was born in USA, then in China. Then I gave some introduction also, like this generates a feeling of anti-war. And then we started with the early life of Sadao, the location of the house. and then he goes to america and then he comes back as a doctor becomes a surgeon and about his father also we discussed today we will start with the marriage of sadao and hana when sadao met hana for the first time at professor harley's house that time itself he liked hana and thought of that if she is japanese then definitely he would fall in love with her and would go on to marry and also the old man so the old father would never have accepted her unless she was pure in blood maybe that not a japanese then he would have never accepted it only a japanese girl he would have accepted they decided everything regarding the marriage how everything is to be planned in Jap- in america itself but they waited and after they came back so the old took the permission of his father and as the father said the marriage was according to japanese culture traditions all styles were performed according to japanese tradition this also tells that everyone they loved their country very much the traditions their family and that was foremost and they give importance to their country their family their culture tradition and they never like to be in any other country's tradition and culture and this we get to know from sadao also sadao's father also then as they were standing in their veranda railing and looking downwards mist was coming closer to their house and it was engulfing everything in on the in its way and as it was going to approach their house they noticed that a black thing was coming out of the water from the mist and it was definitely a man but he was staggering he could not walk steadily properly and they thought that might be a fisherman because there were fishing villages on either side of their house maybe it could be a fisherman ultimately he could not walk much he was on his knees and hands and then fell down on the ground this shows their character they immediately ran down to help the person the identity of the person they both then approached him found out that he was wounded and was unconscious he was also injured they thought that might be because the beach was spiked with rocks and some rock might have hurt him and they saw that one side of the body was already in stain of red blood that was coming out of the body the man was in rags torn out clothes which were not changed for many days and as they turned him they noticed that he was a white man and when they closely studied him found out that his cap had us navy written on it which told that he was from america the condition was really very pathetic 
he was having a gun wound on his lower back and that gun wound was opened up once again it was not tended earlier also and now as he was on the beach it was opened and blood was coming out profusely from it then sadao had a dilemma what to do he thought as he was a prisoner of war and while he was running that time he was shot from behind on one hand he was thinking what he can do with this person on the other hand his hands without taking his due permission as if of their own they were trying to tend up the wound they examined the wound they took the sea moss and put it on that wound thus ultimately the bleeding of that wound stopped they had three options one was handing him over to police as a prisoner but if he they did it then he would have definitely died throwing him back in the sea at that time was the best option they could think of but being very human and as a doctor he thought because he was wounded it would be better that if they can tend him they can treat him and then they can do whatever they want so the as he was wounded they never took this decision also sheltering him could also be a problematic situation as they might land up in the prison themselves because he was prisoner of war but ultimately their decision was because of humanness a uh, duty of a doctor towards profession this ultimately forced them to take him to their home they were def- definitely afraid of servants but decided to assure them of their intention that they had no other intention and they would would definitely hand him over to police as and when he is fine they took him to their father's room which was designed according to japanese taste and culture his father would have never allowed anything of foreign origin in his room this also shows the mentality of japanese people that time Hana also cared for everything, all the belongings, but this was not the time when they could pay more attention to those things and thus ultimately used the silk quilt and put him it over the white man. We will end up today here itself. Next time we will continue ahead. Thank you then.